Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie, and today we're back with some more Alone in the Dark, Emily's story, as part of our Spooky Saturdays playlist. And last time we came up here to uh, the writer's room. I can't remember what her name was now. I can't remember what her name was. But, well, whatever. We came up here, we fiddled with the bottles, and um, had a rather disturbing conversation with... Grace and she stabbed us in the in the rear with a needle. I don't know why. It's not been explained, but well we now have to go and finish fixing this plate downstairs, so we'll go and do that now. In the boiler room. Okay, let's have a look here. This plate. Yes, there we go. All right. There we go. The hidden numbers on the boiler. Nine, seven, five. From largest to smallest. Nine, seven, five. Nine, seven, five. So, okay, so... Uh, nine. Where's nine? There's nine. Okay. Seven, seven, seven. And then five. Where's the arrow? There it is. Okay. There we go. But the talisman is showing another move. Something is open. Hmm. Yes. Alright. Is there anything in here? Or no. Okay. Oh, I know where that is. It's in the cellar. So let's go to the cellar. Oh. Why are they all can't why is this looking like a crypt now? Okay. Okay. Let's load up. Worked. I'm in another one of Jeremy's dreams. Hmm, some kind of churchyard, graveyard. Well, all right. In here. Oh. Bloody birds. over here. No. <sighs> Nothing this way. So we can go through there or through there. Well, what's this? It's been a while since I visited the family tomb. I hope it's in a better state than the real world. Oh. Yeah, I would, I would kind of hope so too. Very, um, damp. Okay. Well. Wow. Oh, a brick. Hmm. Are you dead? It's dead. Oh, thank God. That's pretty. Okay. 
The blessing, yes. Okay. What's this? It's for this. Uh, What's yes. that for? There we go. There we go. Yeah. I think we'll, think we'll take the old sledge. Just in case. It swings a little slow, but... Okay. Oh, I missed. Ow. Oh. Okay. Take a quick drink. Yes. What are these things? It's still never been answered what are they. An abomination. That's what they are to me. Okay, well. Guessing there's nothing else, but we'll have a little look. Either way, just to be sure. Ah, more bullets. We could always use more bullets. Oh, missed these here. That's no good. Okay. This is the chapel in Jeremy's book. It looks like I need more medallions to open it. Mm hmm. Okay. I'm not sure I have everything I need. No. Okay, well let's let's head on through. Anything in here? No. Okay. I can hear some more of those things. Oh, bullets, yeah, more bullets. hear them moving about. Ugh. Absolutely vile. No bullets. Oh. Okay. Oh. Is there something else hitting me? <sighs> Jeez, Louise. Okay. Let's reload. Can we reload? No, we're already fully loaded, aren't we? Okay. Good God. Whew. That was that was that was a lot. Ugh. This is grim. All flooded out. Ooh. Is it here? No. Okay. So we gotta be sneaky here. We gotta be sneaky. I think. Easy to manoeuvre with. That's a bottle. Pity we can't light those. I don't believe we can anyway. Ugh. I 
don't even know what they are. Or something. Is it just something to throw? Probably. Okay. <sighs> All right. <sighs> God. All right. I'm just. I'm just. I'm just gonna go. Through here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh. Okay. Whew. Anything else in here? a little squishy underfoot, but that's fine. I can hear foots, foots, footprints. Where is it? Oh. God, it sounds disgusting. Maybe we try this one first. Left hand side. Something. Good God. Oh. Well, that was quite painful. Well, as long as it can't get out, that's fine. Mm, all right. Well, let's grab this seal. I guess. Yep. Hmm. Like the chain on the floor. That's that's kind of weird. Okay. Um. What's our? Okay. Shovel's all right, actually, by the looks of it. Ah, more stuff. Brilliant. All right. Jeez. Gonna have to reload, girl. All right, reload. Oh God! No. Ow. Jeez, Louise! Oh, disgusting! What was that thing? That black thing? Did it? Ooh, gross. Uh, okay. Well, I guess. Alright, let's let's switch back to this. Okay. Whew. Wow. That was that was quite frankly awful. Let's... 
Okay. <sighs> well, this is, yeah. Um, maybe we better have a quick, quick swig. Top up the old nerves there. Okay. All right. Huh. Uh, yeah, maybe. Okay. Is that it, or no? Do they need to maybe be swapped around? Boom. <gasps> okay. Well, this is... Yep. Oh, God. Oh god. Alright, we can't slip through. Then run, Miss M. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay. Oh my god. Alright, run, 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 run! God. What are those things? That's my question. Just some kind of weird monster, but what's their purpose? I mean, obviously their purpose is to chase us and try and murder us and all sorts of garbage, but still. I don't get their, their actual purpose. We take this the sacrifice. There we go. Apparently, there we go. All right, let's get out of this. Good God. <gasps> oh, birds. God, scared the life out of me. Stupid creatures. Lord, above us all. Could have done without the scare. Oh, something to throw. Crumble down old fountain. What? Oh, God. Cassandra Beauregard, author and victim. So... I don't understand the significance of seeing her. I mean, obviously, we know she's dead. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, here we go. So... There we go. We're in. All right. Oh, yes. Elisabetta. Emily, is that you? Jeremy. What are you doing here? But you sounded so miserable in your letter. I've come to take you away from here. 
I can't believe I made such a foolish mistake. All I wanted was for you to stay away. What do you mean? I bargained with the dark man. A pact to keep New Orleans safe with my own life as tribute. The dark man isn't real, Jeremy. There is nothing he can do to hurt you. How do you think any of this is happening? How do you still not trust my words? Fine. Then let me help. Don't be foolish. He will bury you next to me in his sunken temple for an eternity. I don't care. I'll find a way. I have my own talisman and I know about Tarawea. Oh, wait, 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 don't speak. Who's in here? Show yourself. You know who, Emily? He took your grandfather. No, I mean it. Who's in here? I can feel someone's in here. Oh god, there he is. Emily! Oh. Tarawea. Why do you want to go there, Jeremy? Hmm. My everything. I've seen so many strange occurrences lately. Memories explode into existence and then burn out like tide glass bulb filaments. Dreamscapes crash down from the stars and sink into the sea. Doors that lead to nowhere and absolutely everywhere at once. With all this reverie, I want to think there's a chance that you found a way to remain alive in some way I cannot fathom. Just like I've learned to navigate with my talisman. Maybe you, with all your knowledge, you somehow knew a way. A way to find me again. Perhaps in Tarawaya. Oh, my love. Jeremy. Hmm. Luggage key. Well, yeah. I need to find out more about Jeremy's pack with the dark man. He meant to go to Tarawaya. Maybe there is something there that would help. Yeah. She was beautiful. I wonder what happened to her. Yeah. How did she just die? Seems a little weird, doesn't it? I don't know. This whole place is weird. Oh. Alright, I think we've got Jeremy's luggage key, so let's take a peep. In here. There we go. The Barrow Lens, yes, we need the Barrow Lens. The telescope this. lens. Yep. Well, why would he lock it in here? Well, we need to go and look for answers in the stars, apparently. I think this is the drawing room. It certainly is. Oh god, there's that radio again. Okay. Barrow Lens. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, doing it itself. Wait, what's going on? It, it's entering the numbers by itself? Okay. Uh, great. So, where is that? Dining room? Or is it? 
Okay. Where is that stupid radio coming from? Oh my god, so annoying. Here we are. Ah, here we go. Fire poker. Okay. So. Oh! You should not have come, Emily. How do you know my name? Have we met? In a manner of speaking. As a manifestation of Yermi's deepest desires, I am to you unfamiliar. Yet I know of you. Are you Jeremy? Is that what you're saying? I am only his subconscious thoughts. I cannot speak for his totality. How come you have a Spanish accent? And what is this place? Is this Tarawea? This is indeed the fabled convent of Tarawea, where Yermi goes to find peace during his sessions with Dr. Gray. It's all fantasy, then. Based on the things he has read and seen. And that includes you? Yes. My name is Juan Luis Jorge. Yermi once read a book of mine. It stuck with him. Can you help me break the pact with the Dark Man so we can leave Dorsetto? Yermi doesn't want you to. He wants to honor his word to the Dark Man. Why? What's the point? I don't understand what the pact is for. The people of Dorsetto are calling upon evil to enter this world. Your uncle offered his soul to the Dark Man to contain this disaster. What? No, that doesn't make any sense. The pact will be fulfilled at dawn. As the sun rises, Yermi will forever be entombed in his sunken desert temple. As promised, the Dark Man shall quarantine and starve the evil inside their seto. What about all the patients and the staff? They will not stand the chance. That's unacceptable. How could Yermi agree to this? Desperation, of course. Yermi did not choose martyrdom lightly. Well, nothing is lost yet. I'm sure I can find a way to break the pact and save Jeremy. And hopefully the people at Dorsetto. What even is this evil you're talking about? I don't know much. I think some nightmarish entity from the bayou. I'll just have to deal with that later. First, I have to get Jeremy out of his deal. What? Did you run out of arguments? You're actually quite inspiring, Miss Emily. If we put Jeremy's feelings aside, I would have to say I agree with you. Really? You might just be able to save the old man from himself. I think you should take a look in the convent library. Try to find the truth about Jeremy's relationship with the Dark Man. Okay. You should know that you won't be alone in those grand halls. The Dark Man has been reading those books for years. He's... here? You'll have to be very careful. Of course. I... I can be careful. Good luck, Miss Emily. Hmm. Yes. Very curious. But we are going to leave it there for today, folks, in this very, very peaceful courtyard with the beautiful sunshine and the birds. Very, very nice. So until next time, be safe, be good, and do look after yourselves. <laughs>